this blue eye look that I created by using a wet n wild five pan palette called high waisted jeans which looks like this right here this palette created this eye look in which you're seeing and if you want to see more on how to achieve this look then keep watching the video and I will see you all in another video again shortly later babes hey dolls I'm going to begin by priming my eyelid using my elf eyelid sheer primer I'm taking this and blending it all the way up into the brow bone area of the eye then with a fluffy brush, the color that's labeled base, I'm taking that and applying it to the entire mobile area of the eye in a blending tight motion. And then I'm going to go back into the palette with the color labeled eyelid. I'm going to pat that cover to where I previously placed the base color. We're going to blend these two colors in together. And then I'm using a color by MAC Cosmetics called Saddle Brown. This will help warm my eye up for the next application of color which is the crease color that's labeled right here. I'm applying that directly into the crease in a windshield type motion. And with a fluffy blending brush, we're now going to blend everything together. We don't want any harsh lines. Blend, 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 and blend some more. So now I'm gonna use a nude colored eyeliner, and this is just to help brighten up the waterline before I begin to smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm just applying my Rimmel Nude Eyeliner and then I'm going to go back into the palette and the color that's labeled Definer. I'm going to take that and apply it underneath the waterline to smoke it out Glam Dolls. And then we're going to go back into the palette and the color that's labeled Brow Bone, I'm going to use this and apply it only to the center area of my eye to help brighten up the dark colors. So now we move into the face. Yes, I'm using my Philips Milk of Magnesia. This is what helps control my oily skin and it keeps me with a mattifying looking face all day. I apply it and allow one minute for it to dry. And then I move into using my Under Eye Tone Correcting Concealer by e.l.f. Cosmetics, which I have been raving about. Um, I use that with my Dollar Tree Beauty Sponge. I just moisten it and I blend it out. And then I apply my LA Girl Pro HD concealer yes glam dolls this is my highlighting concealer of choice and i'm just blending that out to avoid having any type of harsh lines before applying my avon magi x foundation which i have been absolutely raving about mm -hmm. it's down in the info box below and it only cost me six dollars it's perfect for the summer it leaves your skin feeling absolutely soft so now i'm just touching back up underneath my eye with a little bit of concealer because I want to apply my Midnight Banana Powder. Yes, this is what helps to avoid having any creasing done underneath my eyes throughout the day. Because you know I do have oily skin and we must keep a mattifying highlighted look. And this works perfect for that. Now with my foundation brush and whatever residue is left on it, I'm just gently swooshing away any leftover powdery residue from the concealer that haven't set. And then I'm moving in to my favorite blush for the moment by Fergie. Yes, this is just to add a little bit of warmth back into my face before I apply my highlighter by Fergie called Hollywood Boulevard. Yes, darling, a little bit of this highlighter goes a long way. I mean, look at that right there. A little bit goes a long way. It's hard to find, but it is in the description box below, so you can check there for details. So as I apply my lipstick and lip gloss dolls, this concludes my look. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter with more daily beauty alerts and fab beauty on a budget finds. And I'll see you in another video again shortly. Later, baby.